all the people who say that I have solved 500 problems on lead code, 1000 problems on lead code, it is not the number of problems that have helped them. Surely it's the number of problems that have helped them. But that number of problems actually directly maps to their confidence. Yes and no from the interviewer depends on these two factors. But there is one or two percent other factors which are beyond your comfort. I thought of doing something different today and I want to share my experience which can be useful to you if you have recently faced rejection in an interview and if you're looking for some tips or if you are preparing for interviews and uh, you are looking for some inspiration, I hope uh, this helps you. So in my eight years, uh, eight, nine years of work experience, I have interviewed for past six years and uh, I think I have interviewed uh, close to 300 candidates and hence I'm credible enough to share some of my experience that what interviewers expect from the candidates. I can say that topmost reason for candidates getting rejected is nervousness. There can be other reasons like writing bad code, not solving the problems, going unprepared, bad attitude, bad communication skills, but those actually amount to only 10-20% of the rejection, but most of the rejections actually happen because the candidates are nervous. Let's see why. If you are nervous in an interview, even if, even if you're nervous for 5 minutes of interview, that is fine. If you're relaxed after that, then that's not a problem but if you're nervous throughout the interview this is what happens it raises a red flag for the interviewer that you are not prepared because they think if someone is prepared they will be confident but if they have not prepared well that means they are nervous you might or might not be nervous due to the lack of preparation but this is the signal that goes to the interviewer that the candidate has not prepared enough the candidate is not confident and relaxed to have a fruitful conversation so that is the first thing that happens next thing that happens due to nervousness is since you are nervous you might not be able to think clearly and your judgment can be clouded and you might not be able to come up with uh, solutions to even simple questions or simple problems again that is a problem because in our industry we often have to work in high pressure environments. There are deadlines, there are things that have to be delivered. Sometimes there is a time crunch, sometimes there's a resource crunch and we all might end up in situations where we have to work in pressure. And someone who cannot handle pressure, someone who gets nervous uh, during a pressured environment, that is actually not a skill that people would want to have. People would want to have employees or engineers actually who are able to stay calm while solving problems, who are able to stay calm during pressured environments. This does not mean that you have to keep your cool 24-7, but it is just an indicator of a normal personality trait that how people behave under pressure. Are they able to think clearly when there is a crunch situation or when there is a time crunch? So this is, uh, this is another issue that happens if you are not relaxed in an interview. The, interview. the interviewer can think that you might not be able to handle pressure well. So that also creates a negative point in his or her mind. Now, as an engineer, let's try to solve this problem. Let's get to the root cause of the problem. Nervousness can happen because of two reasons. One is uncertainty and second is fear of failure. Usually, we are nervous when we don't know what is going to happen. Whenever we are in a situation where things are uncertain, we get anxious, we get nervous, we don't know what we should do, how should we handle or what will happen. And we get all these questions like what kind of problem the interviewer will ask, what if he or she asks me a problem that I have not prepared, what if he or she asks me a hard level problem, what if he or she asks me uh, something that I have not studied or something that is uh, I have not worked on, how I will be able to handle those questions. When all these uncertain questions come to your mind, naturally you will get some chills and you will not be comfortable uh, interviewing or you will not be comfortable in the uh, interviewing room that that is what happens with the with the problem of uncertainty now how do you tackle this problem the first and foremost way to tackle uncertainty is by removing the unknowns if you want to solve a problem or if you want to be confident that you would be able to solve a problem you would have to practice a lot all the people who say that I have solved 500 problems on lead code, 1000 problems on lead code, it is not the number of problems that have helped them. Surely it's the number of problems that have helped them. But that number of problems actually directly maps to their confidence. 
solving so many problems on a platform actually inculcates a sense of confidence in them and they are ready to go in the war room that okay hit me with a problem i would be able to solve it because i had been doing this for past 2 3 months that is what happens when you solve a lot of problems that is what happens when you practice a lot so maybe don't focus on a number maybe just keep a number that is reasonable for you it can be 100 200 300 but always try to reach a number which gives you a lot of confidence while you're preparing for the interviews so the first and foremost way to remove that uncertainty is to practice the problems the more and more problems you practice the more and more certain you become about the kind of problems that can be asked and the more confident you become about the number of problems that you might not be able to solve that will reduce okay so this is the first thing second thing is even the companies want you to succeed and hence they provide you with preparation material they give you even the format of the interview that you are going to have one coding interview one system design round one hiring manager round and so on so even they want you to come in prepared so that the time of their interviewers can be utilized your time can be utilized and they also succeed in by by bringing in the candidates that actually get converted to offers so believe me they also want you to succeed and the best thing that you can do is to go prepared that will reduce uncertainty to a large amount so i would say do a lot of problems practice a lot of problems go for mock interviews if you are going for mock interviews just say one or two weeks before your actual interview on the day of actual interview you would feel nothing special is happening today i had been doing this for past two weeks i will do this again same thing goes for solving the problems if you're solving like say 200 300 problems on lead code another problem would not seem very difficult for you not only you will develop the uh, brain muscle to solve the problems but also you will get confident because you had been doing the same thing every day for past few weeks or past few days and hence it reduces the uncertainty and in case you find yourself unprepared that you did you didn't have enough time or whatever time you have put in is still you are not feeling confident enough to interview you can always go and ask companies to give you some extra time i am sure most of the companies out there who do not have a like very urgent sense of very urgency of hiring like they don't want you to join immediately will be happy to give you one or two weeks extra for preparation you can always go and ask that and you can go prepared so make sure that you always go prepared in the interviews that will reduce the amount of uncertainty that will reduce your nervousness now the next part of the problem is fear of failure you must be thinking that okay i know that i have to go prepared i already know that in spite of that i am nervous yes you can be well prepared you can be 100% prepared and you can be confident about solving problems but the another reason that comes for nervousness other than uh, unpreparedness is the fear of failure you might be prepared you might be very confident but you might have a fear what if i don't make it what if i don't get selected what if i don't get this offer what what if i fail the next interview all these fears again make you nervous and the reason is that you are expecting a successful outcome because you have prepared well now i want to tell you please separate these two things your preparation and your interview performance the yes and no from the interviewer depends on these two factors but there is one or two percent other factors which are beyond your control now those can be luck factors those can be hiring factors those can be it can be a factor that let's say you have performed really well but there is some other candidate who has performed slightly better than you okay there is a chance that you have performed uh, like average or okay uh, up to the mark not outstanding but the requirement of the company is to hire immediately and you will get an offer so again all these factors depend on luck depend on situation on the circumstances of the company even i have faced certain situations that i have given full interviews four or five rounds and after that i got a news that there is a hiring freeze so some factors are just beyond your control in most of the cases when you are 100% prepared when you uh, give your best and you perform uh, up to the mark most cases you will get an offer but there are still few cases where you will not get the offer and vice versa is also true that you were prepared but somehow you did not perform well you expected to deliver 100% but you delivered only 80% even though you can get an offer because the requirement matches also because the interviewers might understand that okay the candidate is good maybe because of nervousness some mistakes happened here and there they might be lenient with you so just leave that factors out of your control 
to say and just take that leap of faith and go and just think whatever happens happens most of the time this reverse psychology helps that go in the interviews thinking i have nothing to lose i understand that it is uh, easier said than uh, said than done but actually this uh, tip would would actually help you a lot to perform good in interviews once you have done all the preparation that you need and the silver lining among all this is in our industry in software industry there are a lot of jobs there are a lot of good companies even if you don't make it through one two three companies there are always there is always a next company that you can apply to so you don't have to worry about getting out of job or not getting a job at all eventually you will find a job it might not be the same as what you would be looking for but eventually you will land a good job if you have prepared well for it. I hope this uh, different kind of video which didn't discuss system design uh, would be helpful. Let me know if you want me to share more experiences like this with you and if, uh, if these can help you. If you want to add any other point on how you have tackled nervousness or how, how you have uh, tackled an interview with confidence or if there is any tip that you want to share with others, please feel free to add it in the comments so that others can also benefit from it. Till then, take care. See you in the next video.